Hello friends! Today we are going to talk about something super interesting. Have you noticed how during the summer the trees are green and during the autumn their leaves turn into all sorts of beautiful colors? Well, at least in some parts of the world they do. While some trees stay the same throughout the whole year, other trees lose all their leaves when the weather starts getting colder. The trees that lose their leaves during the fall and winter are called deciduous trees. What is a deciduous tree? That is a tree that loses its leaves every fall and grows new leaves every spring. Each year those trees go through a process in which their green leaves become bright yellow and then gold, orange and red for a few weeks and then they turn brown and fall to the ground. Well, we all love the beautiful colors of the leaves during the months of September, October and November. But believe it or not, the trees don't change their colors just so we will have something beautiful to look at. There is actually a reason for the many colors of their leaves during the fall. Did you know that trees and other plants have to make their own food? Yes. They take the energy from the sun, then they take the water from the ground and the carbon dioxide from the air. With all these ingredients, trees make glucose, which is the sugar they eat in order to grow into strong, healthy trees. This process happens on the leaf. Yes, the whole process happens up there on the leaf, because the leaves have something that is called chlorophyll that makes this process possible. Chlorophyll has also another job, it is what makes the leaves green color. So as long as the leaves are able to soak up enough heat and energy from the sun to make the food, the leaves are green. That is why they are green during the summer, because they get a lot of sun. But what happens when the seasons begin to change and the weather begins to turn colder? Well, our lovely leaves get hungry, <laughs> sort of. You see, when the seasons change in places where deciduous trees grow, the days get shorter, that there is less sunshine, and the weather gets colder. When this happens, it is harder for the chlorophyll in the leaves to make the food the leaves need to stay green. So instead of making more food, the leaves begin to use the food they have stored away for this time of the year. And as the leaves use the food that has been stored away, a layer of cells forms at the bottom of each leaf. These cells are spongy like a cork. Their job is to act like a door between the leaf and the rest of the tree. A door that closes very slowly and doesn't shut until all the leaves food is gone. While this is happening, the colors in the leaves of the trees are able to show through. That's right, because the red, yellow, gold and orange colors are actually there during the whole summer. They are just hiding and cannot be seen because of all the chlorophyll in the leaves, which makes them green. Remember, chlorophyll makes plants and leaves green. Once all the food is used up, the leaves then turn brown, they die and fall to the ground. But what about the rest of the tree? Well, you might be wondering how the rest of the tree keeps growing when the weather turns cold and the leaves die and fall off. Doesn't the rest of the tree need food made by the tree's leaves? No, not really, because the tree trunk and branches, they get their food from the roots of the tree. Mm -hmm. The roots supply water, vitamins and minerals they get from the ground. Yes, trees need sunshine and warm weather to grow, but they also need time to rest. Kind of like bears who hibernate or sleep during the whole winter. The falling of leaves gives the trees a good rest from all the hard work of food making process and the feeding of leaves. Fun fact time! Did you know that the fallen leaves are an essential part of the forest ecosystem? 
Yes, they are very important because they provide protection for the little tree seeds that develop during the winter. So, the next time you see a tree with colorful leaves, you will know what process they are going through, why they will soon fall on the ground, and then new ones will come up again in springtime. So much for today, little friends! Remember to click like and subscribe to our channel so we can bring even more fun videos to you. Until next time, rise and shine!